So today I'm going to be going over how to create a watch list and how to find, you know, good stocks, how to find hot stocks, how to do process of elimination, you know, how to start off with like 10, 15 different stocks and then break it down to your top three stocks. Um, so you can see right here, my watch list is pretty full, but I'm going to go ahead and go why my, why my watch list is pretty full. Now, I don't really look at every single stock in my watch list. I'll probably look at like two or three like JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Google. I'll look at like stocks like that. You know, I keep up with the indices as well, NASDAQ, SPX, um, Dow Jones. I keep up with all of those. Now, in, my, in the brokerage account, when you have JFX, JAFX is your brokerage account. Um, what you can do is you can go to the screen, and you know if you see it on like the home screen, I can't show it on here, but if you pull up your phone and click the top plus bar, the plus button, and then it'll pull stocks down. When you go ahead and hit stocks, you can go ahead and pull you know, all the stocks you want. I suggest you don't put any foreign stocks down. I would just put US stocks. So once you do that, I mean, I've taken off like Citigroup, I've taken off um, MasterCard, you know, stocks like that. Now, whenever I'm going through Ichimoku, I can easily tell if it's bullish, bearish, you know, if it's ready to go, if it's not ready to go. And I can get through this entire thing in about, I'd say like, like less than three minutes. I can, I can just easily see in like first glance. That's why it's I teach Ichimoku, and that's why it's important to know Ichimoku because it's an indicator that lets you know everything at first glance. So I can get like everything done in like 10, 20 seconds. So while I'm scrolling through this, I'm just basically looking for setups. Like, oh wow, you know, GPUSD actually broke through that level. Uh, GC actually broke that level as well. But I'm not really too focused on currencies. I'm more focused on you know stocks, long-term stock plays. So with that being said, everything that I'm doing right now, you know, let's say if I see like a stock where Let's say, you know, I see a stock that's not necessarily ready to go, like oil or XAU USD. I mean, then I would just go ahead and start hitting, you know, X, X, take them all out. And eventually I'll get stuck with like my top three, my top three trades. Once I have my top three trades on here, then I'm going to go ahead and look at those top three trades. Because typically I only look at like three different stocks an entire, uh, every single week. I don't like looking at like 10, 20 different stocks every single week. I really keep to myself and look at like three different stocks every single week. So realistically, I'd be looking at Bank of America, JPM, and I'd be pulling all of this up to the top. Now, if you're asking, like wondering what website I'm using, I'm using TradingView. TradingView is a very good website to do all of your markups on. If I like everything, I'll go ahead and I'll place a trade on my account. So let's say I just have a Bank of America, JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, and Facebook. Those are my top three stocks. Then I can go ahead and just delete everything else. If I want to go ahead and go do it again. Now, uh, the best times like do your watch list is going to be Sunday night or Sunday morning, whatever, whenever you have time during Sunday, and then have everything prepared for the upcoming week.